please subscribe and press the bell icon for more content. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, today we are going to learn how to make education browser design in Microsoft Office Word. First of all, open your Microsoft Office Word. Then you can click it layout. First of all, adjust your paper size and click it layout and go to margin and go to narrow and orientation is lab escape and size is a4 size here you can see here our a4 pages size is ready to now for design then go to insert and click it save and draw these rectangle shapes and little bit draw here something like this you can see here you can draw this area something like this and I go to edit point and this point is little bit decrease here something like this then I click this point here and this is down here this anchor point is down here and this also click here and this is anchor point is down here then I little bit decrease the size here something like this something like this and this also I drag here something like this you can see here little bit our shape is ready to now for design then I go to format and go to shape outline make it no outline here then I click this shapes and press controller command D duplicate here you can see here our pages is ready to now for this sorry sorry shape is ready to now then I change this color here something I change dark orange color something like this color and I go to this send backward and click it send back here something like this and something like this design you can see here uh, our design is ready to now and click it this saves and go to format and go to save fill and choose your pixels here and I choose these pictures go to from file and I have already downloaded this images from here and I choose this one images here something like this you can see here I choose these images and I click this image and I go to format I click it crop here and then I little bit crop here pixels crop here this one is pixels I crop here something like this I increase here something like this you can see here our pixels is ready to now then I go to insert and again I go to shapes and I click rectangle shapes here and I draw this area something like this you can see here then I little bit increase here then I go to edit point and edit point tool and this is little bit decrease here something like this and I click this area this point and drag here something like this and this also drag here something like this you can see here little bit decrease here and this is a little bit decrease here something like this one little bit decrease here and click it outside and click the save and go to save outline make it no after in here you can see here something like this our design it then I click the saves and 
press control command D duplicate here and change this color. I change something, I choose this color here again. This color and go to send backward and send back. We can see here something our design needs this. You can see here and click this shapes here. Then I go to format and I go to save, fill, and go to pixels. And I choose this one pixels here. Something I choose this one pixels here. And you can see here. And I go to click this pixels and I go to format and I go to crop here. And this is little bit increase here. Something like this. You can see here and I click outside here something like this you can see here our shapes or pixels is ready to now for design then I go to insert and I go to save and I choose this rectangle shapes here and draw this area something like this you can see here and I change this color here something I choose gray color here and I click it send to back here something like this and I go to outline just make it more outline here then I press right click here and I go to format shape and click it fill and transparency effect you can use something like this and click this shapes and press controller command D duplicate here and this also size here and press good format and click send back here and change it color here something I choose this one color here this little bit transparency effect is something like this this transparency effect is something like this and again I press control command to duplicate here you can see here and I change this color here something I choose blue color here and I go to format and I go to send backward send it back here something like this a little bit increase here decrease here something like this our piece is ready to for design then I go to insert and I choose save and I choose rectangle shapes here and I draw this shape something like this and I go to save fill color something I choose dark this one color here and make it no outline here little bit decrease here something like this you can see here our little bit brochure design is ready to now for here then you can type your about your companies and this will say about your companies and type your company's name here and I go to insert and I go to shapes and I go to oval shapes here and draw this shapes something I draw this shapes and I go to press control command D duplicate here something I this shapes here something like this and I press control command D duplicate here something like this You can see here something like this and I click this one shapes and press control command D duplicate here and this will also drag here something like this and press control command D duplicate here and little bit decrease here something like this and this one you can see here and click the shapes and go form it and I change this pixels here something I choose this one pixels here change this pixels here and I zoom it and I go to format and crop here and this also a little bit decrease here something like this you can see here and click the shapes and go to format and go to save fill and go to click in pixels and go to from file 
and choose your fixes again I choose this fixes one here then I go to format and I go to crop here and this fixes is little bit increase here this also here something like this area and this also here something like this and click on this shapes and go to format and go to shape fill and click to pictures and go to from file here and I choose this one pictures here something like this you can see here and go to format and I click to crop and I increase this pictures here something like this and this also increase here and this also increase here you can see here and I click this shapes here something like this and go to save fill color and go to pixels and go to form file here and I choose this one pixels here something like this you can see here then I go to format and I click crop and increase this file here something like this and this also click here something like this you can see here and click this format and go to format and say fill and click pictures and click from file and I choose this one pictures here this one pictures here something like this and I zoom it pictures and go to format and crop it and this also a little bit increase or decrease here something like sorry something like this you can see here our design is little bit ready to now and I click the shapes and go to format and shape outline color is dark blue color and outline also little bit decrease increase here something like this and this also blue color and this also increase here something like this and this is a click here and this also choose blue color and this also click white and this also increase here I choose this one color here and I go to the click this sorry this outline color here something like this and I increase this outline here and this also click here and outline here something like this you can see here our little bit brochure design is ready to now and then I click insert and I go to shapes and I choose this text box here and little bit I draw here something like this you can see here and type your company's information here something like type this information here you can see here and I go to center here and I go to I go to format and say fill color make it no fill and make it no outline here and I select it and I bold here something like this you can see here then drag here I press control command to duplicate here something like this you can see here and again I type control command D duplicate here and I go to insert and I go to warp text and warp text one here so go to insert I go to insert and warp text and warp text style one here and type your company about here something like this you can see here and I go to home and bold it and select here and little bit decrease here this font size you can see here and drag here something like this and change this color here I change dark blue color here something like this and little bit decrease font size here something like this you can see Can see here 
then I go to insert and what I do I style one I type about about us if you type out your about us companies about us then I little bit decrease font size here something I choose 26 here something like this then I click press control command to duplicate here if you have to type your companies about here then I type this word command word here something like this and this part is type your company's name companies put your company's logo companies branding names you can use any name here then I go to insert and I choose what I style one here then I type simple company name here something like this and I select it little bit decrease I have font size here and go to home and I bold it something like this you can see here and I change the color black color make it no outline here this also sad or no shadow here something like this you can see here and type your branding name here something like type this great place to draw something like this and I write here and I go to this one and this is a remove here something like this and I drag here and again I press control command to duplicate here and I select here and I type here Admission here something like this and I go to the this right select all and right here and right here something like this you can see here and little bit increase your front size right here something like this I change this color here. I change this color something. I change dark red color here. And this one I change color something. I change dark very low, well low here. Something like this. You can see here. Then I go to insert. And I go to shapes and choose the rounded rectangle shapes here. And I draw this area something like this. You can see here a little bit drag here. Something like this. You can see here. And type your company's branding and other name here. Something I type. This one type here, I and select here and little bit decrease this size here, something like this. And I change the color here, dark well, sorry, white color here, something like this. You can see here. Our brochure design is ready now. I change this color 